Hi everyone, my name is Keith, Armor Tech and Sales Support, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how to retro upgrade your Kyback 17501, which is the blue machine, from an Armor 2 to an Armor 2 Plus. Now before we get started, things you'll have in your kit, you will have a six wire harness, you will have Wego clips to make the job snappy, and you will get a Armor 2 Plus device. Now inside the bag is an IMEI sticker, do not lose that, you're going to need that. So the first thing you want to do when you get to the site is locate the manager, explain what you're doing. Then you want to go and find the machine. It's usually in the back somewhere. Then you want to drain out the dirty water and the clean water. Now here's a tip. Take your suction hose, stick it down into the clean water tank like so. Turn on the back motor, suck out that clean water into the dirty water tank. Then we'll empty them out. like that. Now all you got to do is drain the dirty water tank. There's your drain water hose. Next step, make sure that your battery has power. Then what we're going to want to do is remove this hose with this screw here and we're going to take this hose off. Center down to the side. Okay, now we're going to remove this hose here. You already removed your pressure hose, and we're going to remove your chemical cap if you have chemical on your machine. Okay, now with all that done, your next step, go ahead and locate the two thumb screws. There's going to be one on each side. All you have to do is remove the top one. Remember, on each side. Then, what you're going to want to do is remove these two Phillips screws. So now we're going to remove this black plastic piece on the back side of your black box. So now with all this exposed, we're going to locate your step down, your Y connector, and your armor device. So now what we're going to do is we're going to remove your armor device by removing the two nuts. And then we're going to hook up the six wire harness. So now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the armor device, but first we are going to take our six wire harness, we are going to cut the common ground, and we're going to use the common ground for your armor 2 plus device, which is green, brown, and black, and we're going to use a five-way Wego and install all this together. Go. So this is what the finished result will look like on the ground side. So now what we're going to do is we're going to hook the positive side up, doing it the same way but with a three-way Wego. And what you want to do is make sure that you grab your positive and negative off the bottom side of the battery because there's a whole bunch of wires in here. Go. So now I've just joined the two red positive cables in this Wego. Now the orange one is your positive power to your Armor 2 Plus device. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the remaining wires from your Armor device and then jump over here to the white box and the two wires coming out of your white box we're going to cut. Now your armor two device and components are completely removed from the machine. Toss those to the side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hook up our other two yellow and red wires from our harness to the two wires of the Y that we cut. So here is what the end result of the Y connectors look like. Now we're ready to plug our six wire into our Armor 2 Plus device and to make sure that it works correctly. You will see flashing red lights just like that. Okay, if you didn't see the power button, what you can do real quick is press these two outer buttons and hold them for five to six seconds and you should see lights blinking. Just another way to check for power. So now we're going to check for utilization and connectivity. What you want to do is run the back motor for about two minutes. Now we're going to use the tool that we're going to show you here next. And you're going to check for connectivity and utilization. Then now the next step after running the machine for about two minutes, we're going to go to armordata.com. We're going to click here and we're going to click on login. This will take you to this page. 
we scroll down and we hit initialization test. This is where you're going to put in your IMEI off of the device. So now that we've got all that checked, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount your Armor 2 Plus in the same spot that the Armor 2 was mounted. And then we can button everything back up. Now that everything's buttoned back up, what you wanna do is take a picture of the IMEI sticker that you get in your bag. You also wanna place it on the outside of this black box here. Take a picture of the serial number plate too as well and send both of that to support at armordata.com so that we can tie the device to the proper machine. Once again, my name is Keith, Armor Tech and Sales Support. Now go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe for our future videos. Thanks for watching.